Companies have embraced the discipline of organizational behavior because the area of study can help them better understand employees in a work environment. Organizational behavior can be used to assess, manage, and predict behavior of employees so that companies can better understand how to motivate individuals. There are situational factors that can affect the study of organizational behavior and its prediction of the behavior of employees. The contingency theory explains that there are specific situational factors which can affect the direct relationships between independent and dependent variables in the study of organizational behavior. Independent variables, or X, are the cause of the change in the dependent variable, while dependent variables, Y, are a response affected by an independent variable. There is no one best way to structure a corporation and solve employee problems. It all depends on the situation. Cheapo Toys has been trying to perfect their organization by studying different variables that affect employees. Companies need to use trial and error to see what variables provide the results needed. Motivation and leadership are just two examples of many independent variables of the contingency theory while productivity, turnover, and absenteeism are some examples of dependent variables. Let's take a look at a real corporate example of how the contingency theory is significant to organizational behavior. Dependent variables are affected by independent variables. Cheapo Toys wants to know what can affect worker productivity, turnover, absenteeism, and job satisfaction. The company would like to find ways to make workers increase their daily production rate of toys. Managers at the toy company also would like to decrease turnover or workers quitting or leaving for other positions. Lastly, many workers are constantly absent due to calling out sick.